Hello everyone and welcome back to Gene Up, the worst show on television. Okay, yeah, sure. The worst show on television. Look at him go. Yeah, we got more second seals after the whole ordeal. So now we can get back to Gene Up. And now let's go to Swordmaster with an S rank in swords, and I did get him the Star Sphere. So, oh, there we go. <laughs> this really is the worst show on television. All right. So now we have uh, the the Swordmaster Gene. I'll have to get his inventory all configured in a sec. We're probably going to give them the, the, the strength boosters. Uh, and now change class. Let's make you a Vidame. Vidame Dame. Oh yeah, like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, if you think... Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment on this video if you think Gene Up is the worst show on television. Alright, now we gotta go to... Let's see. I think I'll do like Sword General. Since it has her highest rank. There. Now we have Salied Up. <laughs> also the worst show on television. And now I think I'll promote Alir. Let's see, let's change class. And I wanted and her thing is going to be a holy knight so she will now use staves now that we have switched Jean out of staves which will be fun 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 our lord having higher movement is always fun 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 in the sun all right and now let's do royal knight yep wait or was it i'm actually gonna check real quick be right back Okay, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back, and it was actually Royal Knight, so we are good to go. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna, before I go back, let's just, um, Gene Up is currently the worst show on television, so we should probably do some things to make that not the case. Um, so let's do this, and this, and let's not use the DLC one. Alright. Alright. And now you're are gonna be our tank now, our little tanky woman. So let's give you the robe and the Draco shield that we've gotten, and that Ada. Oh, let's give Ivy the spirit dust since she's going to be our only magician now. All right. Oh, and let's also give Celine the talisman. Because she is going to be tanking. She should have a respectable amount of res, I think. Why does it say... Should have two talisman. Oh, because one's literally in my inventory. <laughs> silly me, silly me. Silly me, alright. So, and I did have it so Jean gets the star sphere. So now... He can, uh, do things. Pretty epic, I think. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Hello, everyone. We've actually run into a bit of a tricky situation here. Um, we cannot bring all of the PMU units. So, I'm probably just going to bring the most useful ones. Like, uh, I'll bring Celine because the, the funny, but, um, like, this is most uncool, honestly. Most uncool. So what I think we'll do here is, like, hmm, definitely want you, because you're, like, good. So let's get rid of, uh, you. We definitely want to bring the worst show on television. Um, I did forge a Wado plus four, because, uh, <laughs> uh, it is what it is. It is what it is, you know? And then, uh, so we definitely want you. Since you're, like, amazing. And I have Dire Thunder on you. So then let's get rid of... 
I guess our less mobile unit for our bow unit. Huh, this is kind of... You know what? You suck. Get out of here. I don't like you. Alright. And then I guess we'll just take the longbow from Alchrist for now. That's kind of mean, actually, that I can't bring all my units. Like, that's actually just rude. We do get Panette next chapter, though, which is good. Like, that's kind of awesome, actually. Okay, so I'll take the longbow. Actually, give me that Volinary, too. Give me that Volinary, boy. Alright. Don't really need an armor slayer this map. Alright, and with that, let us... Okay, so forget about it's up here. Alright. Let's see, we want to get to those villagers that are on the bottom. So, like... How good's your Volinary, girl? Three? Alright, that's good. Alright, and ladies and gentlemen, today's a fine day for a swell battle. So let me just... You're not in range of anyone, but... That's fine. Alright, so Lapis is going to be on retrieval duty. We're going to go get our prizes. And... Oh, wait, I forgot we actually do get a unit this chapter. We get... Pandria, I completely forgot. Yeah, we have to reclass this guy into a wolf knight. How about that? Um, that's interesting. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we'll be using the both of them, actually. Alright. Clean three damage. Let's get that bread. Epic break. I'm prepared. Alright. Iron Lance, and then I can just kind of kill this guy. And then let's try to avoid the quicksand, because that's just kind of cringe. Quicksand is cringe sand, as they say. And then as for you, oh, you just get smited. Okay, so you are our upgraded Dire Thunder user from Saline, which is nice. You know, I saw a Cocaine Bear last night, and uh, truly, that Let's movie, go. Cocaine Bear, that is the peak of our fiction. Uh, movies will never be better than that. It's true. I saw it. Pandora, do you have Physic? Yes, okay, that's fine then. Uh, like, you just see a movie sometimes, and you know that it's peak fiction. I saw it with three friends, three amazing friends, truly. And, uh, but what was, it's probably actually the most distracted I've ever been in the movie, because some, like, douchebag teenager, some stupid fool teenager, was, like, texting somebody the whole freaking time. So that was really fucking annoying, actually. And then there was a kid in front of me, like eight or something, who was swinging his chair back and forth the whole dang time, slapping my knees. I didn't need to have my knees slapped while I was trying to watch Cocaine Bear, ladies and gentlemen. You don't understand how annoying this is. Well, actually, you probably do understand how annoying it is. That would probably piss off anyone. And the thing is, this is an R-rated movie. This is a true film production. Your kids ain't supposed to see this. Like, before the movie, there was a trailer for a movie where a, a dog makes it his mission to uh, remove somebody's schwidly, schwidly boo. Let's just keep it PG. Remove somebody's schwidly boo from between their two legs. And, um... Okay, yeah, let's just block off Lapis so she doesn't get broken. Fool. Wait, no, now I'm broken. This is cringe. Cringe. Okay, yeah, now we get the Leaven Sword, which will be good for Saline. Give her a 1-2 range option. Hey, you stop that. You stop that. Stop it. Stop it now. Okay, that was a that was a good miss. That was a good miss. That was a high quality miss. Let's do that again. Jesus. Okay, this map is bringing up the heat. I see. I see. This map is bringing up the heat, the fire, through the fire and flames. Okay. 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 I, I see you, Fire Emblem Gage. I see you. I'm witnessing you. I see you for who you are. The ultimate life form. No longer afraid of anything, but yeah. You know. Yeah, my dad said, uh, five points, I haven't been to a movie in 
I haven't been to a movie theater in four years because of COVID and also because they don't want to deal with people being annoying during the movie. And you know what? Perfectly fair. Aren't you supposed to have Kanto? Why didn't you Kanto there? What the fuck? Kanto, you dumb bitch. Alright. Now it's time to unleash the powers. Upon our foes. Wolf Knight, what's your speed compared to my epic speed? Oh my god! Ready. Okay, that's cringe. Um, So that's cringe, first and foremost. Emblem. So, promoted units. Wow, that's tough. You should die, buddy. You should get killed, actually. Okay. And you're just kind of here. And you can't attack anyone. Awesome. This guy just has a loving sword, though, so it's not that big of a deal. God damn. My units are weak. Okay, so like... Can I, like, heal you... And then you go kill the bow guy, okay. We're mathing it out, we're mathing it out, we're mathing it out. But yeah, cocaine bear. Truly the cinematic experience of our lifetime, I think. You you have to go see it. It's like actually the funniest movie I've seen in years. I mean, it's pretty gory, but like, whatever. And it also has esteemed, ladies and gentlemen. Esteemed character actress, Margot Martindale. What, what else do you need to hear for me to convince you to see the movie? If it has esteemed character actress, Margot Martindale, you gotta see it. You gotta see the movie. I don't make the rules. That's just how it is. Alright. You're a flyer, so you don't really have to worry about this nonsense. I'll just get you as close as you possibly can to strike this man down. Alright, and now, Pandrio, if you could uh, get the child over to where he needs to be to succeed in his life ambitions... That'd be great. All right, Tiger, you're going down. I did not think this through, actually. Emblem? You're going down, town, to the the funky town, and you're going down. Get killed, idiot. <laughs> There you go. Epic Jean swag. Okay, and Alir cannot get her punched. I mean, your mom cannot get her lights punched out, so that's good. That's generally a good thing. When your mom's lights don't get punched out. Please do not go for her. That's so rude. Okay, good. You missed because you're cringe. No! That's so cringe! Alright, I'm gonna redo that turn, ladies and gents. Be back soon. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back and I was, uh, perhaps a bit smarter about what to do and what not to do this time, so... Okay, you just have 11 swords, so that's not really a big deal. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so I was perhaps a bit smarter on what needed to transpire for my victory to be assured. And I'll just canto in front of you to be a little turd. Ha ha ha. Get owned. Alright, so now nobody should be dying. Yep, no, saline has got that bulk, you fool. That bulky bulk. That bulky bulk that only comes when you're bulked out. Okay. If I can, I shall. Alright, and now we got this turd over here. I'm gonna, like, engage and kill him. I don't know. Just seems like a smart play. I mean, this won't kill him, but it'll be pretty darn close so that I can just kill him the next turn. After all the other ugliness is over. And right, now we have Bond plus two. Where's Speed Taker? Hmm. Maybe I should have bonded up before I started doing this garbage. Alright, and now can you actually, sir, die? I would like it if you died, actually. 
Let's try that. Yeah. I don't know. Aside from Cocaine Bear, I'm also doing the internship process in GZ. You know, I think in my, like, new mystery, uh, let's play from a while ago, I was talking about how it's really damn annoying how they're making me do a second interview. Now I'm doing a third interview. Actually, I already did the third interview. Scratch that. Now what I'm doing is I had to send them, like, a list of five references. Five references, and now they're gonna call all of them individually, and it's like, oh my god. The madness, it needs to end. I just, just make me an intern already. It's not a cut. Just say you're hired. Because the thing is, these tech companies that I'm going to be working for, they expect you, yes you, to have an internship so you have real world experience. Wow. But then they make getting these damn things like the most frustrating process that has ever graced the planet Earth. Like, did it really need to be this complex? God. Oh, they should be getting back to me next week, though. I don't know. Alright, is anyone in my audience intern? You know, it seems that most of my audience is, like, around my age, like, college age. I've seen y some youngins slip through the cracks. Hey, 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 hey! Stop that. You stop that. Don't do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. How's it been going for you? In the comments section, have you have your internships been fruitful? Alright, get owned, idiot. A good idiot equals owned, and now we can afford a skill on her. That's neat. Much easier to own the idiots when you have Brave Thunder, I must say. Because look at that guy. That guy is 48 freaking HP. How? What am I supposed to do about that? I'll let you know. We're supposed to gene up. Da 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 da. da. I want to see a star sphere level up. Honestly, let's try to get Gina level up this chapter. I want to see a bona fide star sphere level up this chapter. I want to see it. I really want to see it. Because Gene's growths are already supposed to be cracked because of his personal skill, right? I want to see how cracked this thing can get. All right, you one shot. That's cool. Get on. And now I will Kanto. I'll manage. And now I can heal you, the lonely one, the traveling wanderer, Yunaka. Yeah, what I'd be doing for this company if I were to be hired is I would be a uh, front end developer. So I'd be programming things. My will yes. Is firm. Programming things. I guess I don't really talk about my hobbies too much on this channel, but I am a computer programmer. I program computers to do things, and I plan on making that my career. You see, what I like programming computers to do the most, though, is video games. But I'm planning on just having that be a hobby that I do on my own time over the career. In case you didn't know, I have a game on Steam. It's kind of silly. It's just a little high score based game. It's, it's called Shrumblow and the Magical Grumblow, if you ever wanted to... Try out a five points production. All right, so like, maybe I'll forge eleven sword later. So, and then when I have the Hector thing that gets her like quick repost, then I think we'll be in business. To be honest. All right. Unfortunately, this mm, silly fellow has chi adept, which is cringe. But luckily, I am based and not cringe. Get owned, sucker! And now I'm gonna canto all up in your face, because I am a based like that. I'm simply based build. But yeah, just a little high score based game. I had fun making it. It was originally for a game jam, which is why it's so simple, because when you're making a, jam a game jam game, it's only a buck on Steam, by the way. <laughs> don't buy it if you don't want to. I've only made a couple bucks off it, off it, but it's fun, because I think making video games is fun. It's a passion. Okay, get on, get on. A thousand, curses upon our enemy. a thousand curses? That's a lot of curses. Lapis, that's a lot of curses. I don't know. I don't know. That seems... I don't know. I don't think our enemy's that bad. They don't deserve a thousand curses. That could just be me, though. Alright, you're not gonna crit, Gene. You're not based like that. Yeah, bro, you're fucking cringe. You're not gonna... You're not gonna crit the worst show on television like that. That's absurd. 
And let's see, I gave Saline a Draco shield and everything, so let's just see if she can cook with gas over there. And then, like, I'm just gonna spam Physic on everything. Because this dude doesn't come with a normal healing staff, and I don't think Physic is all that useful in this game anyway, since you can just have healers with Kancho, like the one and only lady, your mom, like that we have right now. Let's see, I think the villagers in this actually give you good stuff, so we'll have to see. Yeah, bro thinks he can crit the worst show on television. Insane. On YouTube, I guess this isn't television, but whatever. Oh, 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 General Saline putting in the immediate work. Oh, she pounded her shield to the ground well. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, putting in the finest of works. The finest. Only the best. Let's see. I kind of want Gene to kill this guy. So, like... Longbow his ass, please. Okay. Thank you. And now... I'm not badly hurt. You're not badly hurt, that's because you're based. Alright. Oh, he teleported behind him. The nothing personnel kid. He really hit him with the nothing personal kid. Alright. And Celine, you can just kind of keep chilling, honestly. You just do you, girl. You do you. You are chilling like a villain. Right, I'll just do this, I guess. I don't even know why I did that. I had an Ivy with heal right there. So let's just watch a gene claim his victims. Why does this map have so many spheres, by the way? There aren't that many enemies. Oh, 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 oh! Owned, 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 owned. Simply owned, simply owned. It's a looking tough, G. I won't lie. It's a looking tough. Why did I just summon my inner Mickey there? Ha <laughs> ha! You want to hear my uh, Family Guy impression? Peter, Peter, Freddy Freak is dancing in our living room. Peter, ooh, ooh, what the deuce? Ooh, ooh. That's my Family Guy impression. Hope you liked it. Did you guys like my Family Guy impression? Let me know if you did. I put a lot of work into my craft. Ooh, what the deuce? Ooh. All right. I'm at 100%. She's at 100%, ladies and gents. Probably would have been better to actually put her on the the thing. But, um, what can you do, I guess? Can I get to a tree? It's not even a tree I can stand on. Yeah, another map where Yunaka's personal ability is not really cooking with gas. But I suppose we can just put her right here and let her cook. Here goes. And let's see what we can do with that next turn. Gene up is still going well. And Saline will hopefully have the goods procured. Fool. Oh, I got smashed. Oh, he's flying back. Oh, there go there he goes. There he goes. You dare? You dare? Her hair is clipping through her armor real bad. Oh, fire emblem game devs, you little scrunchies. You little blorbos and you and your game development. Pretty much every RPG has excessive clipping, and I don't know why. Like, if you watch any of these Nintendo Japanese RPGs, uh, a lot of the models... Why are you heading towards the enemy? Why? Stop that! Alright. So, like... Yeah, it's not looking good, G. It's not looking all good. In the hood, so to speak. Um, just a scratch. All right, let's just pwn this noob right here. Look at that! That noob can't e won't even touch me. That noob won't even touch me. Okay, they did touch me, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter. And now we can have the support points in play. I should have given you a rider's bane, probably. Yeah, this is looking like maximum ownage over here. Um, yeah, let's do that from a safe range, actually. Hi. These wolves, man, they're killer. 
They are killer wolves. Very powerful. Um, getting the kill here on one of our actual units would be good, probably. So let's own this guy. There we go, okay. Okay. Okay, now I can set up a divine inspiration for someone else. Like Diamant. Hmm. Guess we can have forget about it, try it first. Yeah, let's keep it accurate. So glad I didn't bring Fram to this map. She would have really weighed down the experience, you know. I don't think Fram is cut out for work like this. We'll probably be deploying her again next chapter, though, since, like, I won't have to deploy these three idiots. But next map might have the same deployment slot problem, since we are going to get Boonet. No, we're going to get, um, Panet. Not Boonet. <laughs> and some other units. Like Tamara and Marin. Dang, I want to use Marin. Like I'm gonna use her on my on my third playthrough for sure. Like I just haven't used her yet is the thing. Even though I really want to, I really want to use Marin, but it just my hasn't come up. Because in my first run I didn't use her because I was using all the other units, and then in this run she didn't get drafted. So it is what it is. All right. She seems like a cool. Oh, owned, 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 owned. Okay. Epic Star Sphere level up. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. How did you not get speed? You have Swordmaster growth bonuses. And then you also have your personal skill that increases class bonuses. And then you also have the Star Sphere. That's insane that you didn't get that. I actually, I don't know how likely that is, but it seems rather unlikely to me. Okay, seems like the reinforcements are no more, so... I'm just very surprised you didn't get speed, honestly. Alright. So we suffered some difficulties this chapter. The Wolf Knights were scary. Luckily, Unaka can enemy phase them without getting doubled. Which is nice. Yeah. I need Speed Taker on this. I might bond them up before the next chapter, honestly. Speed Taker's just a really awesome skill in general. Alright, let's get this kill on a unit that matters. You see, I didn't really get the point of Great Lances in my first playthrough until I got to the Snow Chapter where I was like, Oh, okay, now now, okay, now we have the gas. Now now gas is in the tank, okay. Now we have some gas in the tank, ladies and gents. But, like, seriously, um... Like, it's like, oh, you move your enemy back one space. Cool, but if you use that, then, like, it's hard... Then you're moving them out of potentially your setup position to get dual strikes. Like, if I had Genex to somebody and I had him use a smash weapon, then what the frickin' do? Then you can't dual strike them when somebody else attacks them. And with enemies in this game being, uh, powerful, you kind of want the dual strikes a lot of the time, right? Like, you kind of want the dual strikes to happen. That's the thing about it. So, I don't know. But when the enemies use it, oh, then it's a problem. Because on that snow chapter, just you need to get somewhere in 25 turns. And they do their damnedest to make sure you don't get that place in 25 turns. Because, like, every freaking enemy has a smash weapon and they're just constantly knocking you back. That combined with the avalanches makes it a tough experience. So. Seems like it's just mostly good on enemies, honestly. Like, I don't really... Like, I just don't think there are many situations where... Pfft, yeah, okay. Where it's just all that good on player... I mean, like... If there's an LTC strat, does anyone know about it? Like, okay. Yeah, sure, buddy. I'm sure that'll work out for you real good. Oh, no. He evaded capture for a brief moment. And now you die to epic General Selina action. Well, at least she... Slams her shield into the ground, alright. Gene! 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 Gene!